Well, we've traveled now to the campus of IPFW, and here on the campus is located the uh, Allen County uh, Extension Office uh, connected with Purdue University. Mike Talbot is the director of the uh, Cooperative Extension Service here, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how the service operates and what it has to offer for residents of Allen County. Mike, we appreciate your time today. Well, I appreciate you coming out, Mike. Thank you. Give us a little bit of background on how the Extension Service got started, not only in Allen County, but statewide in Indiana. Statewide, actually, it got started as a mandate from the federal government. It is a product of uh, legislation that was actually signed by Abraham Lincoln and then Woodward Wilson to uh, create land-grant universities, and Purdue is our land-grant university in the state of Indiana. And then Woodward Wilson signed the, what was called the Morrell Act, which created within the U.S. Department of Agriculture the Extension Service, which is meant to take the research from the land-grant universities out to the citizens of each state. So uh, Purdue actually oversees the office, but what's your connection with Allen County government? Then each of those counties are expected to have an extension service. Uh, it, there is a state mandate that says that each county shall be funded uh, from the local government entities uh, and provide an office so that the extension service can do that education mission uh, to the citizens in, in their particular county. I think when people think about the extension service, uh, they see it as serving primarily the rural population of a county. We'll talk to you about uh, some of the specific services that you have, but uh, you also have things that are really are tailored or applied to urban areas of a community as well. The part of that misconception, I think, actually comes from the fact that the land-grant university set up primarily agriculture and engineering. Extension Service operates primarily out of the College of Agriculture at the university, but it does also at the university. Extension has ties into the veterinarian school and also consumer and family sciences. The program areas that we deliver, actually agriculture and natural resources is only one of those areas. We also do youth development primarily through the 4-H program and the majority of those kids in Allen County do not live on a farm. Uh, we also have consumer and family sciences, which is anyone wanting to take care of home issues or financial management issues. The other area that we have is also in what we call economic community development, which crosses the lines across all uh, categories, including city, county, uh, townships, anybody and everybody in terms of trying to develop some leadership and bring together cohesive groups to cause change, positive change in the community. You mentioned 4-H, probably one of the most recognizable programs that you have going, and I know that's a program that uh, continues to grow and grow each year. That's right. The 4-H program actually is about positive youth development in terms of offering 4-H uh, curricula to young people. In Allen County, we start with age three uh, through pre preschool is our Cloverbud program, K1 and 2 is our mini program, and then once they hit grade three through 12 is our traditional program. We have a little over 1,200 kids actively involved in that particular program. Then we also use our curriculum in after school sites and some in school sites uh, where that same curriculum that's developed at the university and in the land grant university system nationwide is delivered at our local uh, community. What are some of the other uh, more popular programs uh, that you have going? Our other major, major program that is very, very popular, obviously, is our Master Gardener program and the horticulture industry. Uh, we do have the advantage here in Allen County of having a educator specifically in horticulture. Uh, and he works with both home horticulture and professional landscape, uh, the business side of it. We train average around 30 to 35 individuals on an annual basis to be licensed or certified master gardeners and they have to go through a rigorous course of uh, about 40 hours take a test and then give back x number of hours in order to remain as a certified master gardener they have developed the gardens around the extension office uh, here at the ipfw campus which are an educational garden because they are most of them are labeled in their design so if somebody wants to come out and think okay i would like to have something in a shade garden we have a shade garden if you want a prairie garden uh, we have 
prairie garden. So there's plant materials for them to come out and look at. They do, the master gardeners have usually a couple of walks um, and open houses, but the gardens are there year round for people to come out and look at. Home economics, I'm sure, uh, another big uh, area that, that you folks deal in. The uh, consumer family sciences, as we now refer to instead of home economics, yes. Uh, and that really develops into a two or three different areas. Our educator, Vicki Hadley, specializes in family and resource management. Her real strong suit is in financial management, and she works with uh, local institutions on money management, getting people checking accounts uh, so that if they they have lost their checking privileges, helping them with savings accounts. Uh, she's networked with a lot of the social agencies uh, for people trying to get a leg up on how to save, how to balance their budget, those kinds of things. The other areas that we deal with a lot of is in food uh, and uh, taking care of um, how to prepare good meals uh, with balanced diets. Um, we also deal also with some human development areas of the consumer family sciences. Uh, we have the largest group of ladies in the state, well, not just ladies, but uh, primarily ladies in the extension homemakers uh, in the state of Indiana. Um, so there are several different areas that we deal with when the consumer family sciences. What's in the future for the extension service from your standpoint? Uh, what are, are you looking at any areas in particular that you want to branch out into or, or that you feel you need to be involved in to, to remain a vibrant and relevant part of the community? Our state director has challenged us to be looking more at projects that really bore down into a specific area. One of those areas is we go out and, and visit with people and, and get feedback on what programs we should be delivering is on sustainability. And that's a very broad topic and we're still trying to narrow the focus down. But one of the things that we worked with a lot this past year, this past summer, were the increased number of farmers markets and people wanting to grow their own or buy local product. Uh, and so the number of farmers markets that developed in Allen County really increased and so we were there with resources from the university on how to market uh, those kinds of products and uh, so we see helping people become more self-sufficient on their own uh, as our main area probably of growth. So you're obviously watching for shifting trends in the economy and society to see what areas you you need to uh, uh, remain uh, in touch with. Oh yes, and one of those is also the use of technology and you know trying to uh, be more relevant to those in the what we want to call the 20 to 35 year old uh, age range because they are more attuned to using the computers and going online. And so some of the programs we're looking at are maybe our old and tried true programs, but we're just going to repackage them so that they are more applicable and accessible on the computer. If folks need more information or want to know more about uh, what you have to offer here, how do they find out? Uh, a couple of ways. One is th obviously through the county website. We're listed as uh, a county department on the county's website. We also uh, can reach us at our phone number of 260-481-6826. We're open Monday through Friday. Uh, and then we do a lot of night classes and weekend events for volunteers and other individuals. Mike, thanks for your time. We appreciate it, and thanks for the explanation about the uh, Cooperative Extension Service. We hope folks have a, a better knowledge now, a better understanding of exactly what you uh, folks do out here and how you can be of help to everyone in our community. Thank you, Mike.